Hey guys, what's going on? Hope you guys are having a good one. I right, just want to give you guys a quick update of what's been going on. I know it's been a while since we made a video, but um, we've been busy. We've been busy hunting and uh, um, not a whole lot of action has been happening. So, because, you know, we're hunting public land, it's a lot more difficult. You know, deer are pressured um, pretty much every weekend or just about every day. Um, so, I want just want to give you guys a quick update of what's been happening um that's starting out with uh starting at uh rum creek wma so we hunted there um three days straight well, at least i did three days straight and then uh then danny uh joined me for the uh for the, the for friday and saturday for those two last two days but um we didn't see anything those two days those last two days um but that first day I was able to see um, what looked to be a buck right in the morning and then a doe as you would see in this video later um, but turns out you know just luck was on their side um, I sucked you know because I took a shot at uh, I took a shot at that buck it was like right at shooting light um, and I guess I must have hit a branch or something and he just turned right back around and then just ran off so there was no blood you know, I didn't hurt it or nothing, so I'd rather miss than, uh, you know, put an injury on them and uh, let them have to deal with that. Um, but then later, um, maybe an hour later, Doe shows up in this video, so which I'm about to watch. And then pretty much, she came up from behind me, I mean, like right at 10 yards. Okay, so she's, you know, she's licking this branch and like staring at me, right? So uh, I'm sitting there. I can't move. You see in the video, I cannot move because if I move, she's she's gone, right? So I'm just sitting there waiting for an opportunity. And then I guess she must have like got a sense like, hey, hey something ain't right with this tree. All right, so she started, you know, trotting off, tails up. And she happened to stop at like 30... I want to say like 40 yards, but she was right, she stopped perfectly right behind some branches where I believe that I had like a small hole to where I could put a, you know, put a shot right, right in her vitals. And uh, turns out I hit the branch again because I heard it smack and she just stood there. So I was like, you know what, um, you know, luck has it that, you know, you live this day. I, you know, I hit this. I hit branches twice a day. Let her walk. You know, I'm not. I'm not going to fire another shot, and you know, and keep firing because I did have a. I did have an opportunity to do a headshot, but I didn't want to do that because it's kind of, it's kind of too much for me. All right, I've done it before. I don't want to do it again. So, um, just let her walk. It's like you know what. You know, I got uh. I got meat. I got some meat already from uh, the deer at Cedar Creek. So I was like, you know what? Um, I just let her walk. You know, uh, it's not, it's not too serious. Or, you know, I, you know, have uh, another hunter get an opportunity at her. You know, someone else that uh, that would need the meat. So, but that's that was pretty much it for Rum Creek first day. Uh, like I said, that was like right in the morning. That was the only action we I've seen, and then. I kind of just left. I didn't stay the whole day. Next day, hunted with Danny. Didn't see nothing that morning. And then last day, um, as we was walking in, we jumped the doe that was bedded down where we was gonna put uh, Danny at, and uh, and she, she ended up getting just uh, running off and didn't see nothing the rest of that morning. So that was pretty much it. Didn't get nothing out of there. Um, we're still pretty much. Um, just no deer. As long as we've been hunting there, haven't haven't. Well, I haven't gotten a deer as long as I've been hunting. Last person I was able to get a deer there was Tommy. He had that nine pointer. But it seems like every year that we do hunt there, we see a buck. But just lately, it, it seems like you know Tommy's kind of placed that he's the only one that's able to uh, harvest the deer there. But uh, moving along. Um, so we come up, so next week, so the following week, we uh, we start hunting at Piedmont uh, National Wildlife Reserve. All right, so um, with this spot, 
um, first first morning, Danny saw a buck, but wasn't able to get a you know shot opportunity on it. Um, it was you know right at shooting light, couldn't see, well the camera couldn't see or nothing, and uh, it was where we was hunting at. It was kind of like, it was kind of a thick area to where if he did shoot, you know he would just end up hitting some brine or brush or whatever, and just end up missing anyway. Uh, he couldn't really tell how big that buck is or was, but um, other than that, um, I think day two, day two, I I saw a doe. A doe ran towards me while you know, of course, playing on my phone because you know I'm thinking hey, nothing's going to come around. Um, but you know, she ends up running towards me from my left, and uh, I try to put my phone down. And uh, you know she's you know she's coming at me. She sees me. You know these deer, these deer they they're smart enough to look up. Okay, because I was about 15 feet up the tree. All right, you know I, 15 feet should be good enough. But these deer, public public land deer, they look up. All right, and she was running towards me. She just happened to look. And she her eyes were up. It wasn't down. It was up. She saw me. All right, she stopped. She kind of turned, you know, turned, stopped, do that little side eye deal. It was like, oh yeah, next five seconds, I'm gonna run off. So that's pretty much what happened. Um, and I, I took a shot. Missed. I took another shot while she was running, and I missed again. Um, so, but check for blood. So I knew I, I, I definitely missed because I was shooting 30 out six. And if I did hit her, she would have dropped. All right, so but. Like I said, I've been on a, a missing streak. So, right, two weeks in a row. All right, miss one weekend. All right, so this is what, what this would be three deer that I missed so far. So, and then the rest of the, and then the last day, Piedmont, or the rest of the day, we didn't see nothing, didn't see anything because Tommy joined us too. So, we had three of us hunting in the area, trying to, you know, trying to um, cover, you know, cover up. Oh, a good amount of area and then just just wasn't able to see anything um, besides that doe um, well last day did end up seeing some turkeys so that but can't can't do nothing with that right so but so that was a flop so we had two places that was a flop um, and then right after that it's pretty much my Missouri trip which I'll upload and uh, you guys can kind of watch that but just wanted to give you guys a quick update of what's been going on you know like I said I know it's been a while we've been trying we've been hunting we're trying to provide you guys with some content but hunting you know hunting is a little bit more difficult uh, you know it's a little bit more time consuming especially on uh, public land so but anyway like I said just want to give you guys a quick update alright um, I would say I think for the next it's like this is like what it's uh the uh, the 27th of november so i would say about two more weeks we'll continue to hunt uh, we got um cedar creek that's going to be open for two weeks for buck only so i'll try to hunt that on you know my weekends uh, pretty much ran out of vacation so as much as i would like to hunt that place hard i just don't have the time to go out and uh you know make and hunt each and every one of those days because there is an area that I would like to hunt and I believe that it would be you know there would be some some nice mature bucks down there but um, you know with the work busy with work run out of vacation days can't do it so just gonna have to hunt the days that I can so like I said two weeks uh, I'll be at Cedar Creek and then we still have uh, West Point WMA which is the, the first week in the December I believe so um, I think, but I think after after those hunts, I think we're gonna start slowly to slowly switching gears to fishing. Um, so as I, you know, I'm already already I'm already starting transition. So you know, I'm I'm already kind of worn worn out, especially after my Missouri trip. Um, I did get some deer, so be sure to check out those uh, those videos. Uh, seen seen plenty of deer, so I had a great time. It was just you know really cold, but. I'll be there uh, next year, so hopefully uh, get a monster next year. So, but but anyway, but yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Like I said, just want to give you guys a quick update what's been going on. So, 
hopefully provide you with a lot more content and now I'm starting to create some shorts so um, I won't create these super long videos I can at least create some short uh, 15 second videos and let you guys know what we're doing on that day but anyway hope you guys enjoyed it thank you guys for watching and uh, catch you guys on the next one peace